Colleagues, you recall that not long ago, the NDC minority held a couple of press conferences to address what we felt was not right when the minister responsible for interior had announced earlier on that they are going to engage in a number of recruitment across the, across the um, security services. To the extent that we heard that 11,000 Ghanaians, according to the Chronicle, will be recruited into the security services. We had raised concerns referencing the nature and how this recruitment reportedly was going to be handled. And the minister obviously responded to our press conference. So there was some element of banter between the NDC minority and the MPP majority. Today, the minister held a meeting with the entire house. And the conclusions is that he's assuring all of us that he's going to advertise so that ordinary Ghanaian out there will have the opportunity to be enlisted into the security services. And this is going to be done at the district, at the regional level. So across the 16 regional capitals, Ghana, Ghanaian youth are going to have the opportunity to participate in the enlistment processes. And he said that um, they are going to limit this to those that applied for 2021 and 2022 recruitment exercise. So he's here, and we just want to assure the people of Ghana that this house, we are here to work in the interest of the people of Ghana. We have come to a conclusion that this is all what the people of Ghana want, and we thank the minister for understanding, and that going forward, that is exactly what is going to be done. So to the ordinary person out there, to the ordinary person out there, they, they are not going to charge any fee. They are not going to charge any fee. And that for those who applied and have already paid for 2021 and 2022 recruitment exercise are going to go through various uh, types of enlistment across across the um, security services. So the minister himself is here, and the, my colleague, the deputy majority leader, is also here to speak to you. But for us, I think the right thing has been done finally, and we commend the minister for doing such a thing. And we believe that going forward, this will be the template where everybody will have the opportunity, equal opportunity to be enlisted into the security services. It doesn't matter where you come from, and it should not matter which political party you belong to. You are Ghanaian and you should deserve the opportunity to serve in the country. We need both houses to always ensure that we understand what is being put out there. The Minister for Interior has done a yeoman's job by coming out to call both houses to understand what, how, how we should prosecute that particular agenda of uh, recruitment. And I'm very happy that at this point in time, when we met, we have understood the whole process and we know that we are going to advertise and people are going to ensure that the ordinary man on the street will have access to it. We want to reiterate and we want to emphasize that no fees will be charged. No fees will be charged. Anybody who uh, uh, apply for that opportunity and it's going to be handled fairly yes. for the public to appreciate yeah. that we are here to work for them, for Ghanaians, and we are working yeah. together yeah. at this moment. Yeah. No, you've, yes. you've, 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 yes. you have forgotten the, um, to yes. ask. Yes. yes. I think one of the things that we should, we are speaking to is the Facebook recruitment. There is nothing like that. No MP, no minister is in charge to recruit anybody. So please, the public is hereby notified that don't go through any individual, any Facebook uh, 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 recruitment or even WhatsApp. Yeah, that's one of the things that we have to pay attention to. Thank you. If before the minister comes in, please, I also want to use this medium to serve a notice, particularly to those going to engage in the recruitment, the recruitment and the security agencies. 
that as we sit here, we stand here, you see NDC MPP representing the people of Ghana. Yeah. They should not politicize the recruitment. And they should give everybody equal and fair opportunity to go through the process. It's very important. And they should also not take money from people before they, 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 they recruit them. They are Ghanaians and they should be given the opportunity. And nobody should also pay. Nobody should also pay. It's a process that we all want the ordinary people of Ghana to benefit from. And that's it. As uh, the minority and majority leadership has earlier espoused, we have had extensive conversation and I want to say that the recruitment exercises for of the security agencies under the Ministries of Interior will be advertised with a clause. The clause is those who went online to apply in 2021 and 2022 and for some reason have still not been able to go through the process. But I must be quick to add and bring clarity to no money must be paid. The security and intelligence agencies, and for that matter, governments, does not control what we call medicals. If you go out there as a private citizen to do medicals, you have to pay for the medical fee. That is not the doing of the security and intelligence agencies. But what we are saying is that for the purposes of filling your, uh, or filling your application online, it is completely free free in the sense that these people have already paid online. So that's where the free is. So that people don't go to medicals and say they say it's free. The medicals is not free. So I think that uh, I wouldn't say much. And let me also put on record that the Ministry of Interior does not recruit. So at the appropriate time, uh, the responsible agencies under Interior will advertise and indicates the eligibility criteria and the timetable for people to, as it were, go to their various regional capitals. We are saying so because we don't want somebody to travel all the way from another region to Accra. But once you do it in your regional capitals, it is fair. So I think that uh, I want to thank my colleagues and Ghanaians. This is what democracy is about. It's about coming together to agree coming together to disagree in the interests of Ghana and motherland. And I pray that uh, the atmosphere will be free, fair, transparent, peaceful, so they can go to training, come back and work as professionals in the various agencies that they may or are likely to be shortlisted. I thank you very much and God bless you. As we speak, I am satisfied with what the assurances that has, the minister has given to us at the moment. We only pray that based on what we have agreed on, we will go to the latter and implement the agreement that we've all reached. Remember, this is security services, the security of our country. We have a regional minister here. You have um, the minister of interior here and all of us. I mean, the future of our country is the security. And so we cannot politicize that. The peace and stability of our country obviously is with the security. And so um, I have to say that I'm happy that we've arrived at these conclusions and that we are going to go to all the 16 regional capitals to uh, undertake the enlistment. And that everybody, regardless of where you come from, your tribe, your religion, and obviously your political affiliation, you have the opportunity to be enlisted into the security service. I think that is a victory, a victory that we all want. It's an assurance.